I'm Scott Stein, and this is a very quick look at the brand new iPhone 5 that will be available on September 21st. Now, true to expectations, this is a larger 4-inch screen. It keeps the retina display, but it stretches out to a 16:9 aspect ratio, and that does mean wider, larger movie playback. But it also should mean a lot of apps that are going to be optimized for that extra screen real estate. Is a little bit of extra screen space a big deal? Well, it is if you want to have extra room above the keyboard. If you're going to be pulling up messages, it means seeing more space up there. And the same is true for anything that uses a virtual keyboard. Plus, there may be new apps that take advantage of the extra space for buttons or who knows what else. But that's not it. It's a top-to-bottom redesign. You're looking at a new connector port, a faster A6 processor, speedier 4G LTE, thinner, 18% thinner, 20% lighter, and it feels really light in your hands, especially if you hold an iPhone 4. And the prices are the same as before, plus you get your fancy black or white, but with metal backs now, slate or silver. I'm Scott Stein, and that's a quick look with a lot more to come at Apple's new iPhone 5.